In the rich tapestry of medieval art, one might notice a curious recurring theme, the depiction of cats that appear, well, rather peculiar by today's standards. These feline representations, often portrayed with elongated bodies, angular features, and an almost otherworldly appearance, have left many art enthusiasts wondering why these cats seemed to stray so far from the elegant and lifelike depictions we are accustomed to seeing today. To unravel this enigma, we must embark on a journey back in time to the heart of the Middle Ages and delve into the cultural, artistic, and societal factors that shaped these unique portrayals. During the medieval period, art was predominantly created for religious and didactic purposes. The primary goal of artistic endeavors was not necessarily to capture the natural world in a realistic manner, but rather to convey spiritual messages and moral lessons. Cats, often associated with mystery and duality, were sometimes viewed with suspicion due to their nocturnal behavior and their historical connection to ancient Egyptian religious practices. Furthermore, the artists of this era faced certain technical limitations that influenced their depictions. The materials available for creating art were far from the sophisticated tools and pigments we have today. The artists' palettes were restricted, and achieving intricate detail was a challenging endeavor. As a result, the portrayal of animals, including cats, often became more symbolic than realistic, with a focus on capturing essential traits rather than anatomical precision. Medieval artists were also influenced by the cultural beliefs and superstitions of their time. Cats were both revered and feared, seen as mysterious creatures with ties to the supernatural. Their association with witches and the occult lent an air of unpredictability to their image. This sense of mystique could have contributed to the portrayal of cats as enigmatic and almost ethereal beings in art. Moreover, the notion of scientific accuracy as we understand it today did not hold the same importance in medieval art. The concept of ugliness was not perceived in the same way as it is in modern times. Artistic conventions were often stylized and symbolic, focusing on conveying broader meanings rather than literal representations. Cats' odd appearances in these paintings might have been a deliberate choice to emphasize their symbolic significance rather than an attempt to capture their physical features accurately. The artist's training and resources also played a significant role in the portrayal of cats. Apprenticeships were the primary mode of artistic education, and techniques were passed down from master to apprentice. The methods for rendering animals were not as advanced as those for depicting human figures, which were of higher priority in religious art. As a result, animals like cats might have been rendered with less finesse, leading to their unusual appearances. The religious context of medieval art also played a pivotal role in shaping the portrayal of cats. The church exerted immense influence over artistic production, and many works of art were created for sacred spaces. In religious contexts, animals often served as allegorical representations of virtues and vices. Cats, with their dual nature and associations, could have been intentionally stylized to embody moral dichotomies, showcasing their role as both sly and mysterious creatures. Furthermore, the concept of aesthetics was distinct in the Middle Ages. Beauty was often perceived as a reflection of divine order, and deformities or abnormalities were sometimes seen as indicative of a deeper, hidden truth. In this light, the unconventional depictions of cats might have been an artistic choice to evoke a sense of the mysterious and sublime, rather than an attempt to render reality faithfully. Social factors of the time also influenced the portrayal of cats, the medieval period was marked by the rapid spread of disease and the fear of plagues. Cats, as natural predators of rodents, were associated with disease prevention. However, they were also linked to superstitions and pagan beliefs. This complex interplay of associations could have led to the varied and sometimes unsettling representations of cats in art. In conclusion, the peculiar and sometimes ugly depictions of cats in medieval paintings can be attributed to a confluence of cultural, artistic, and societal factors. The era's focus on symbolism, the limitations of artistic techniques, the dualistic nature of cats, 
and the prevailing religious and social contexts all contributed to the unique portrayals that have left an indelible mark on the art of that time. While these depictions may not align with our modern perceptions of feline beauty, they offer a captivating glimpse into the mindset and influences of the medieval world, where art was a tapestry woven with threads of mystery, symbolism, and profound meaning.